Stories are questions we wish we had never encountered. My name is Asadimi B, and every week I will tell you a short story written by a Nigerian writer or author. That's the long and short of it. So without much ado, this week's story is by Peace Akban, and it's titled What is Cash Out? I am so broke that I would do anything to have money right now. As random as that statement is, that was how it all started. My friend Stella and I were chilling in my apartment one evening when I blotted out that sentence. Stella sat up. You can have money, oh, she started. How? I asked. Spotty now. Eh? Spotty bed. Now, let us get this straight. I had always known exactly what spotty bet was. One time, my Sunday school teacher said betting or gambling is a sin and cited examples of betting apps. Spotty bet topped the list. That aside, I had always considered it to be a guy thing because I had never heard of or seen a girl who bet. Well, that was before that evening when Stella confessed she had been doing it for a while. At first, I was angry that she had hid such an update from me. Then I realized there was no point. I was not going to do it anyways. You never reach like that, I beg. But the devil was probably waiting somewhere to say, I told you. Because two weeks later, after looking at those my Pinterest screenshots, I found myself in Stella's DM. I'm interested, I had typed. I listened to my friend as she delved into the intricacies of Spotty Bet over a video call like it was her specialty. She explained she had a sure odds plug whose game rarely ever went wrong. She also advised that I began with a meager amount. And then she ended the call after dropping the code for the night. That same night, I decided to play. I staked just 300 naira. And I got 4,600 naira. Wow. Last time, I promise. I said to myself a few weeks later. I had now made a total of about 30,000 naira over those few weeks. Enough to satisfy my materialism. Not even once had any of my games caught. I had subsequently raised the amount that I now staked. A few days later, I received a credit alert from my father. Money for my school fees. When I called Stella to pay her school fees alongside my own, she told me that she was using her own school fees money to bet. This one, I did not need convincing. My heart pounded in my chest as I clicked the place bet button. I had just staked 200,000 for 1 million naira. This is it, I said to myself. This is definitely the last time I'm doing this. Stella's codes had never failed me. And I was sure they were not going to. The match began by 6.48 p.m. I had never in my entire life been so tense as I weighed every possible outcome of what I was getting into. I also knew that I had the option of cancelling the bet. But no, I was so sure of it. I thought of all the things one million naira could do for me. And that was all the motivation I needed, please. By 8 p.m., the amount had risen to about 300,000 naira. I left it, saying I will leave it for just a little bit longer. That is when I must have slept off. Hey! 
The realization hit me the next morning when I woke up and I scrambled to get my phone, which was now on the floor. I refreshed the page, only to be confronted with... What is cash out? What does that even mean? I called Stella immediately. And all she could say to me was, Babe, it's gone. I did not hear anything else she said to me after that because... Peace Akban is a writer who resides in Uyo, Akwaibom State. And she's a student at the University of Uyo. You can read more of her stories on Medium at Peace Akban. And connect with her on Instagram and LinkedIn at Peace Akban. And on X, formerly Twitter, at thepeace underscore AK. Details and links will be in the episode description. If you've got a story you would like to be featured on this podcast, or a published book you want to make into an audiobook, send an email to info at osadumebi.com. Or send me a message at Osadmebi on either Facebook, Instagram, LinkedIn, or X, formerly Twitter. I look forward to collaborating with you. And if you've enjoyed this week's episode, please subscribe, leave a review, and tell a friend that stories are a good escape for a few minutes each week.